and uh, we are here at Kenamba. Yes. You recall, Your Excellency, this had tarmac, yes. and it goes all the way to engineer about 20 kilometers. Yes. But this section, Your Excellency, was very bad between Kenamba coming all the way to Githyoro around here. Yes. And this is the road from, uh, ja sorry, here. Uh -huh. Because this is Jabini. Yes. Between this section, Githyoro to Kenamba was a gravel road. And it is the one that was uh, being, uh, is being up, uh, was upgraded under these contracts. That's about uh, 20 kilometers. Uh, Your Excellency, the project, the project is 32 kilometers long, and it connects the two counties, 15 kilometers in Nakuru and 17 kilometers in Nyandarwa. And it included the 12 kilometers rehabilitation of the road that was existing and the 20 kilometers of gravel that was upgraded under this, uh, this project. We also did some work in uh, Naivasha, such as uh, pedestrian walkways uh, within Naivasha and Kenamba, where we are, and constructed uh, structures uh, for drainage. We have uh, slope protection. Your Excellency, you remember when you're moving from here towards, uh, towards uh, Gethioro, they are very steep sections. So we did some three kilometers of uh, protection. Uh, we also did some spa routes at Maraigushu and uh, Gidabai, 1.2 kilometer, kilometers and 2 kilometers. Then uh, Your Excellency of note is uh, the contract sum is 2.1 billion. Uh, we did the work in less time than designated. We were to do it in 30 months and in two years we were able to complete the works. And we are now in defect uh, liability period where if any defects appears, the contractor can fix, otherwise the road is 100% complete. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the road has helped uh, the two counties in terms of reducing the general travel time and also improving the road safety. And particularly within Naivasha town, we have enhanced security uh, with the street lighting. Your Excellency, the road is uh, 6.5 meters wide for the carriageway and 1.5 meters wide on either, side, on either side for the shoulders. The construction we've done is significantly good. We expect this to be a durable road with the, with the rears that we have put. Uh, Your Excellency, we invite you, we invite you to unveil the plaque Aya, watu wa kinamba hamjambo Moriega Bwana Yesu asifiwe Simuni salimia hivyo hewane nione watu wa kinamba na naibasha Basi, kwanza mimi nataka ni washukuru sana watu wa kinamba na naibasha Kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani Asante tena Kwa sababu tangu tuchaguliwe Sijapata nafasi ya kufika hapa Ndiyo nikasema leo lazima nikuje ni waone uso na kwa sababu mulitupatia nafasi ya hii barabara. Simunajua nilikuja hapa kwa jen, mjumbe wenu pale maraigushu. Hii barabara siku hiyo ilikuwa niliwambia ni kama ile barabara ya kwenda mbinguni. Likuwa na kazi mingi sana. Likuwa na matope na nini na nini. Tukakubaliana na nyinyi 2019 ya kwamba tutajenga hii barabara. Leo mimi nimekuja hapa kuyanzisha rasmi imekamilika. Si tunashukuru jameni. Mimi nataka ni washukuru sana watu wanaivasha kwa kura zenu. Mulitupatia kura zenu, mkatupatia MCA, mkatupatia mjumbe, mkatupatia governor, mkatupatia senator, mkatupatia women rep. Mimi nasimama hapa kusema kwa watu wa kinamba na watu wanaivasha asanteni sana.
Mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi ya kwamba mbali na hii barabara tulisema hii barabara kwa sababu wengine wenu mnataka kwenda mpaka mfuke ngambo ile tunajenga sasa kuanzia Njabini mpaka Getora. Hiyo barabara pia tutasukuma iendelee na pande hiyo. Na ile ya kutoka machinery tunataka kulete mpaka hapa Gilgil. Hiyo pia katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu tumeweka bilioni sitini ya mabarabara zetu tuzikamilishe ile zote tulianzisha. Tunakubaliana? Vile vile mambo mengine mengi leo najua viongozi wengine tuligawana kazi nimetuma rigadhi aende show kule Nakuru. Na Susan na wengine mimi nikasema nikuje hapa nipangane na nyinyi pande hii. Si ndio kukamana kazi ni mzuri? Ama namna gani watu wakinamba? Jambo la pili mimi nataka tena niwashukuru kwa sababu tulikubaliana tukimaliza uchaguzi kazi ndio itaendelea. Kitendawili haitaanza. Si tulikubaliana kitendawili haitaanza. Ni kazi ndio itafanya nini? Ndio kazi itaendelea. Niliwaahidi ya kwamba kwa sababu masomo ni ya muhimu kwa watoto wetu wote. Na tulikuwa na matatizo makubwa ya walimu shuleni. Nikawaambia tutaongeza walimu. Januari mwaka huu tumeajiri walimu 1035 Kenya. Saa hizi tunaendelea tena na kuajiri walimu wengine mwezi huu. Walimu 1020 kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wote wakienda shuleni kuna mwalimu kwa sababu elimu ni ya muhimu kwa sababu elimu ndio inaleta usawa mtoto wa tajiri na maskini wanakuwa sawa wakipata elimu na hakuna mtoto ya e, ma, elimu ya mtoto mkubwa ama mtu mkubwa ama mtu mdogo tunaelewana vile vile tumekubaliana mambo ya masomo yetu ya Tibet pale tumeweka pesa ya walimu wengine na saba. Tunataka hawa vijana wakienda kwa technical training college, wasome ufundi, wasome teknolojia, wasome eh, taaluma zile zingine kuwe na walimu na vile vile tumewaongezea pesa ya basari ndio watoto wengi hasa wa kutoka jamii za chini wapate nafasi ya kusoma katika technical training college ambazo tuko nazo. Vile vile tumeongeza pesa ya university ndio watoto wote waende university na tumekubaliana ya kwamba university hatutoi tena pesa kwa university tunapatia scholarship kila mwanafunzi ndio kila mtu aende na pesa yake kwa mfuko katika university tunaelewana jameni jambo la tatu tumekubaliana ya kwamba kilimo ni jambo la muhimu na tumekubaliana hapa na kuru tunajenga mambo mawili ya muhimu Tayari tuko na industrial city ya hapa Naivasha. Tulikuwa na eka elfu moja. Saa hizi tumeongeza ekari zingine elfu tano. Tunakamilisha kununua. Leo asubuhi, leo tumekuwa na watu wa Afri Exim Bank. Wametupatia shilingi bilioni 30 ya industrial park ya Naivasha. Kwa sababu tulikubaliana shida kubwa ya Kenya ni ajira ya hawa vijana. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Si vijana wengi wako nyumbani? Hawana kazi. So tulikubaliana shida ya Kenya kubwa ni ajira. Na lazima tuwe na mpango ya kuhakikisha kwamba hawa vijana wanapata ajira wakimaliza shule. Na ndio sababu hiyo tunajenga industrial park ya Naivasha. Tunajenga industrial park ingine pale Njoro. Tunajenga industrial park ingine Sagana. Tunajenga ingine Eldoret. Tunajenga ingine Isiolo. Tunajenga ingine Busia. Kwa sababu mimi nilisema tunataka vijana milioni moja wapate ajira. Vijana wanaibasha muko? Vijana wanaibasha muko? Mbona sikii sauti yenu vijana wanaibasha muko? Tulikubaliana vile vile tutakuwa na mpango ya housing tutakuwa na mpango ya value addition agro processing tumekubaliana na county government ya nakuru ya kwamba tukiweka hizo mpango yote pia tutakuwa na county aggregation and industrial park hapa nakuru tayari tumetangaza kandarasi imefungwa nitarudi hapa 
ili tuanzishe ujenzi wake county government wameweka 250 million mimi nimeweka 250 million kwa sababu tunataka hawa wakulima mkitoa mazao yenu kule eh, mashambani kuwe na mahali mnaweza kufanya storage mnaweza kufanya value addition tunaweza kufanya processing tunaweza kufanya manufacturing ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba mkulima hatapeliwi na watu mabroka muwe na mahali ambapo mnaweza kupeleka mazao yenu watu wa kinamba tunaelewana ama mnataka mabroka waendelee kuangaisha nyinyi dunia hii si mnataka kila mtu awe na mahali ya kwenda kuendesha mambo yake tumekubaliana na mimi nataka nishukuru governor wenu tayari county government ya Nakuru wameweka pesa na mimi nimeweka pesa kwa sababu tulisema tunataka kutumia kilimo kuweka pesa kwa mfuko ya wananchi vile vile tumekubaliana katika ile hali ya kutafuta hii kazi ya hawa vijana pale katika hiyo county aggregation and industrial park tutakuwa na agro processing value addition manufacturing storage na mambo ingine hata ya cold room na vijana hawa wenu ndio watakuwa wanafanya kazi pale tunaelewana vijana tumekubaliana ya kwamba tunaweka program ya housing nyinyi mnaona ya kwamba tuko na shamba kidogo ya kufanyia kilimo na kuzalisha chakula na tumesema ili tusiendelee kukatakata mashamba yetu tunataka ku preserve mashamba kwa sababu watu wanaongezeka lakini ardhi haiongezeki si ni kweli ama ardhi inaongezeka si imekuwa matu hapo kama ni yeka mbili ukipata watoto wawili anakatana inakuwa yeka moja inakuwa nusuweka ikienda huko so tumesema ili tusiharibu mashamba yetu na kukatakata tunaweka program ya housing hapa na kuru tumesema tunaweka program ya housing ya houses elfu ishirini katika nakuru county na hiyo eh, houses elfu ishirini tunahitaji vijana elfu hamsini watakaofanya hiyo kazi vijana wa maraigushi mko tayari tuko pamoja mko ama nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe eh nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe si tulisema wera ni wera ama tulisemaje maraigushi tulisema ati tulisema si tulisema wera ni wera so tunakuja hapa hivi karibuni tukipitisha hii budget tayari imepita tutakuja tuanzisha hiyo mradi hawa vijana wapange mambo yao ya ajira kwa sababu tunataka kila kijana ajisimamie asimamie familia yake na kila mtu awe na pesa mfukoni kwa sababu anaenda mahali anafanya kazi vile vile tumekubaliana hakuna haja na mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya Hakuna haja ya kuagiza vitu kutoka Ulaya sijui Marekani sijui China vitu ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza hapa Kenya. Ama namna gani? Ndio nimesema kwa hii budget hakuna kulete tena sijui desk, sijui kitanda, sijui mesa, sijui kiti ati kutoka China, sijui kutoka Marekani, sijui kutoka wapi. Tuko na vijana hawa. Kutengeneza kitanda jameni siniranda, nyundo msumari mna mambo inaisha iko haja ya kwenda mpaka marekani atikwenda kutafuta kitanda ndio tumesema tukienda mbele manufacturing ndio imerudi nyuma Kenya ili tuhakikisha kwamba manufacturing inasonga mbele mambo ya furniture hakuna tena kuleta kutoka nje tunatengenezea Kenya simiti tuko na viwanda ya kutosha ya kutengeneza Kenya chuma tuko na viwanda ya kutosha tupanue hizo vijana hizo eh, viwanda vijana hawa wapate ajira wasijisimamie na tutengeneze mali yetu hapa Kenya hakuna haja ya kwenda kutangatanga na kutafuta eh, vitu ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza hapa ama vijana mtatengenezwa mtashindwa kutengeneza kitanda jameni na randa na nyundo mtashindwa si tutatengeneza factory kubwa hapa na tuendelee mwisho tulikubaliana ya kwamba lazima tupunguze gharama ya maisha si tulikubaliana hiyo ama tukubaliana na tulisema kupunguza gharama ya maisha tunaanza na kupunguza gharama ya chakula na kupunguza gharama ya chakula sio kuweka sufuria kwa kichwa ni kusaidia wakulima waende shambani watuzalishie chakula chakula ipatikane ya kutosha ndio tuondoe aibu ya njaa ama iko dawa ingine ya 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 ya, ya njaa 
Si ni wakulima tuwasaidie? Ndiyo tumepunguza mwaka huu. Tumetoa mbolea ilikuwa shilingi elfu saba. Mwaka huu niliwaidi tumelete mpaka shilingi elfu tatu na miatano. Hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa hatua ya kwanza. Saa hizi tunaongea na wale ambao ni suppliers. Mimi nataka nirudishe tena chini hiyo mambo ya mbolea mpaka ifike shilingi elfu mbili na miatano. Ndiyo kila mkulima apate nafasi ya kuzalisha chakula tuweze kuondoa njaa na mkulima aweke pesa pia kwa mfuko. Nyinyi mko tayari ama mko tayari watu wanaibasha? Watu wanakuru mko tayari ama mko tayari? Tuko tayari? Tatembea barabara hiyo pamoja? Na ndio mimi nataka niwaambie mimi na washukuru wa kulima wa taifa letu la Kenya. Ukitembea kila mahali katika Kenya utaona vile wakulima wamefanya bidii kwa sababu tulisaidiana na wao tukawapatia mbolea Mungu akatujalia mvua mwaka huu tutakuwa na chakula ambayo haijawahi kuonekana Kenya na tunangojea tu miezi miwili tutoe chakula shambani tuendelee na taifa letu la Kenya tuko pamoja jameni wengine wanataka kutufanyia maandamano hata ukiweka sufuria ufanye maandamano siku ngapi bei ya unga itarudi chini Bei ya unga itarudisha chini na maandamano na kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa. Si itarudisha na bidii ya wakulima na usaidizi wa serikali. Hiyo ndio mpango tuko naye. Na nimewaambia wakulima wa taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana. Wakulima wamezalisha mpaka ikapita ekari elfu mbili mpya imetumiwa na wakulima wetu kuzalisha chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya Mambo ya unga, mambo ya chakula, mpango yetu iko sahihi na tutahakikisha kwamba tunapunguza gharama ya maisha kwa sababu inapunguzwa na mpango haipunguzwi na maandamano. Tuko pamoja jameni? Neguo kana tiguo? Tumekubaliana? So hiyo ndio mpango yetu na mimi nataka niwaeleze watu wanakuru sisi tumesimama imara. Muliona juzi Walifanya maandamano Ijumaa iliyopita ile ingine watu saba wakakufa. Wamefanya maandamano juzi watu nane wakakufa. Mimi nataka niwaulize, mnataka tuendelee na hii maandamano? Mnataka tuendelee na hii maandamano? Mimi nataka niwaambie. Maandamano haiwezi tena kufanyika katika hii taifa letu la Kenya. Hiyo wanasema Wednesday. Hiyo wanasema sijui lini. Hiyo maandamano haiwezekani. Haiwezekani mtu huyu wa kitendawili alilete fujo akalete mapinduzi watu wakakufa kule nyuma akakuja akangaisha mzee kibaki mara cho mara eh, sijui nini mara carpet mpaka mzee akashindwa kufanya akafanya kazi lakini eh, kazi hiyo haikuendelea vile ilikuwa inatakikana ndio huyo amekuja akachanganya uhuru ile mambo yetu ya big four ikapotea Tukaenda BBI sijui nini nini mpaka tukaingia madeni. Saa hii tuko na deni ya 9 trillion. Saa hii amekuja hapa tena ndio huyu ameanzisha fujo. Amelete fujo, muliona vile mali iliharibika Nairobi? Mukaona vile watu wamelete vijana uh, wame, uh, wame, wamelipwa wafanye fujo. Mnataka tuendelee hiyo barabara? Mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Raila Odinga, uchaguzi iliisha tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwaka uliopita huwezi kutafuta uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya kutumia damu ya wananchi maafa ya wananchi na kuharibu mali ya Kenya hiyo haiwezekani na hakuna vile utabadilisha Kenya kwa hiyo barabara unaenda na hiyo barabara umeenda mimi nataka nikuhakikishie mimi niko na wewe macho kwa macho tutakutana haiwezekani we cannot accept ama namlagani jameni Tunaelewana watu wanakuru? Ati wanasema ya kwamba wanataka kutulazimisha. Ati asira yao kubwa ni kwamba mahali ambapo walikuwa wanafikiria hatuwezi, walikuwa wanafikiria wakulima wetu wawezi kuzalisha chakula. Saa hii wameona imebaki miezi miwili chakula ipatikane, wanatuletea makelele, wanatuletea maafa ati njaa. Mimi nataka niwaulize, hiyo njaa itamalizwa na maandamano? kuharibu mali ya wananchi ndio itamaliza njaa ah watu watu wache kutusumbua bwana na waache hiyo mchezo na mimi nataka nimwambie huyu bwana kama ni maandamano tutakutana
kwa sababu hauwezi you cannot use extrajudicial means extra constitutional means to look for power in Kenya there is a constitution there is an election the people of Kenya went to election they elected a government if you want angoje to kutane 2027 ni munyoroshe tena ama munasemaje ati wanataka kutulazimisha ati tuwagawie serikali mimi nataka niwaulize jameni mnataka tena serikali ile ya handshake ya kusumbuana na ukora na ujinga ah bana 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 hii haiwezekani hii haiwezekani na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wanakuru jameni wacha niwaulize mpango tuko naye ya hawa vijana tayari ile ajira tumeleta ya walimu niliwaahidi ya kwamba tutapanga hii kazi na kazi hii itasonga mbele mimi nataka niwahakikishie mimi nitaka ngumu hawa ni zawakalia ngumu kwa sababu Kenya ni yetu sisi zote Kenya si ya maandamano na tunataka hawa watu wa maandamano watuambie ili maandamano isemekane imefaulu watu wangapi wanapaswa wana kukufa watu mali gani mali kiasi gani inapaswa kuharibika maafa kiasi gani inafaa ina, 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 ina kuwa imefanyika that we will not accept ama namna gani tunaelewana jameni nyinyi mnasema tupange ma, maendeleo ama mnataka tuingizwe kwa hii maandamano jameni watu wa kinamba tufanye maendeleo hebu nione wala wanasema tuendelee na maendeleo tuko pamoja na hapo ndio nimekwama eh nimekwama nimekwama hapo nikae hapo nikwame hapo kabisa hawa watu ni wakalie ngumu eh basi sasa mmenipatia ruhusa nita wakalia ngumu watachangaa na ni wakiniuliza nitamwambia watu wakinamba waniambia ni wakalie ama namna gani si nyinyi ndio mliamka mapema mkapiga kura mkanipigia na rikiji na huyu Jane na hawa wengine wote ati sasa wanataka kutuletea kesirani na mimi nataka nimwambie huyo bwana pengine kama utafanya maandamano utafanya kwako na kama kuna mahali utachoma utachoma kwako hakuna mahali utachoma tena Kenya hii kwenda uchome kwako kwenda ufanye ile unataka kufanya kwako lakini hapana kwa wakenya wengine sijui kama tunaelewana yes hapana hiyo imetosha hiyo imetosha ama namna gani wacha niwakaribisha hawa viongozi wengine tu watu salimie si nianze na mrembo wenu jameni anaitwa Jen Kihara panda hapo Jen Kena ba mwekuo mwekuo ni mwakena saseni nashukuru sana sana <laughs> your excellency kwa wewe kuja hapa ulikuja kanisa hapa naivasha ukimaliza nikakwambia nimechinja nyumbani uje tukule kanyama lakini ilikuwa kukucholea ndio utembee hii barabara vile ilikuwa na ukakuja ukaniuliza hiyo njira jia umetuletea kwani tulikuwa tunaenda biguni ndio tunasikia inakuwa ngumu sana kufika biguni so we are very happy alafu tulipokuja kutafuta kura nilikwambia hapa hapa your excellence ile barabara tumejengewa utakuja kufungua umeweka ahadi vile tulikuuliza tumefurahi watu wake namba Maraigushu kwa jumla na huko Naivashaist na biashara na sasa watu wa Kinangob wakwenda Jabini kazi yao ama safari yao na biashara imeraisika so tumeshukuru sana sana na tumejua umejitahidi na sisi tutakuunga mukono vile ulivyo kwa sababu tumeona ukiendelea tumeona ukiendelea kuleta maendeleo vile ulituahidi na hata na sana hii ya walimu your excellence hii barabara ni ya muhimu sana ni ya muhimu sana 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 kwa sababu hata ukifungua sasa kule central kenya mimi nikienda kusalimia 
watu wa nyeri nitakuwa nakata tu hapa kwa sababu ya kazi uliyosema mimi nataka tu niongee hivi mambo ya Raila Odinga Your Excellency vijana wanaivasha jana walifanya peaceful demonstration ya kusema hawataki maandamano. Si tulifanya hivyo. Sisi tulisema hatutaki maandamano. Na ujue mimi nilikuwa Nairobi 1982. Raila akijaribu kupidua serikali. Vijana walikufa. Juzi ametuambia hii weekend ni ya kuomboleza wale walikufa. Ni kama ni kufurahia vijana walikufa. Ujue ukitokea ukutane na maafa, ukufe. Raila hana haja na wewe, hajui tazikwa wapi. Tafadhali tafadhali kijana usijitokeze kwa maandamano. Those who died zaidi ya kumi, they didn't have to die. So Raila you cannot tell us you are mourning Those who died are seeing key for the celebration. Their parents, I am talking as a leader as a mother. Mimi staki wewe kijana ujitokeze kwa maandamano ndio upigwe risasi ama uanguke ukufe kisha Raila atuambie ya kwamba hatuka kidi tutafanya sasa ni kuomboleza tu hii weekend ni ya kuomboleza ni kwa kuomboleza as if ni kufurahia. So please 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 let us keep peace. Hiyo sisi tulisema tangu ile farakano ilikuwa zamani tukasema we will not repeat. Naivasha we will not be a black spot again. Si tulisema hivyo. Your excellency. Your excellency. Hii barabara imetufurahisha. Kuna ingine na lazima nikwambie sijui hapa nitakuchorea namna gani lakini tulienda na wewe maela your excellency ukipata pesa ya dona na ya na, yeyote ile utapata peleka maela maela tuliingia na wewe ukaomba kura na ukasema ni kuzuri tukarudi tena ukawaahidi kwa hivyo ndio naivasha iwe safi kwa biashara maela is our food basket kwa hivyo tuki, tukipata hiyo barabara tutafurahi tutafurahi sana kwa sababu itarahisisha ya mwisho ya mwisho andwa itu nitoko nyiterera dhirikari eno nitoko menyiterera toti ko haka goma na guchive jera eh toti gitikira ko haka goma na guchive jera mwetekere twenyitie mukubo tondo niguo kuhana Veno yo torero huwezi kuambia watu waende barabara sa ile mvua imenyesha unawaambia endeni kwa shamba ile tiguo kwa hiyo watu wenyi temo kubo nie ne joe na gutire mundu toe even the president nioi kwena thina thino yo warehirwo ni riwa riri arari kuo na gutire handu hatari nie ne ndirathie terulaya gona ndo makigoma kwa hiyo thino yo withe othe no kuna mikakati ile datu ile ya gwika ile datu ile ari atuhenia ari atuhenia mwetekire ithwe turugame na thirikari ne ithwe twamithurire barabareno hedere ya higuragwo na haria weta okulonja kuzidua our former president we wokire na ndwe twari ho twerirwo inywe inywe terai tokeigato agechoka kirado ni twahurirwo tokutura toinaga ni twahurirwo githetu ti augire tokwenda thayo athire gucogera ando kuchochea wananchi nyadarwa theini kuria githioro tondu arare na bata muno na bara even this one e madamano i am seeing ohuru's hand in it Hii mambo ya kupigania chama na ni rahisi tulikuchagua na ukamaliza mihura yako miwili ugachoka ugatwira we you told us even when we have 
elected a president, unatuambia wewe president wako ni Raira. Surely. Surely. Not okay, my head, your madam, my name, mayor. Give it that way, your woe. Quahivio to Shikria Sericari, Natufania Kazi, Mimi Kazi, Nina Wafania Vilivio, Basare Nimeopatia, Mashule to Mejenga, Ningi Namnajua, Natuna and Delea. Your Excellency, I have got four new schools. Kama Ungeshida, Ungefungua Zote, you own a villa Kazi to Mefania. Because we have done a lot of work because there is peace. Kwa hayo machache ama mengi, tumuahidi, his excellence la izuetu, tukanayeye hapa kwa hapa, hana hatutaki atishwe na mtu. Hatutaki. Na hiyo majaribu, majaribu ya kupindua serikari, tumekuona raira, we have been there, we have seen you. God bless you. Aya. Niko na mungwana anaitua Kemani Eshongwa. Yeye ye, ndio leader of majority. Ndio kiongozi wetu wa kule bunge. Sante mheshimiwa rais adoke na aba. Muriega. No mweyomereirie. Ona mwashogero. Ona mare hemanda mano. Ne moko gitira dhirikali eno. Muko tayari. Najua mheshimiwa rais Jen amekoroka kikuyu kidogo. Na najua huku elewa yote. Lakini wacha ni kufichulia ile amesema. Amesema hii serikali sio yako ni yetu. Ni yenyu sio yenyu. Ati hawa watu wake namba na naivasha ndiyo walikupigia kura tuunde serikali pamoja. Na sinu ukweli? Ne anyu kanti anyu eno. Muko tayari kuilinda. Na mweshimu wa rais umetuambia vizuri. Ya kuwa tulikuwa na mpango thabiti wa kurudisha uchumi wetu na huo mpango bado upo chakula vile umesema imezalishwa na subsidized fertilizer miezi michache ijayo tutavuna mahindi bei ya chakula ianze kurudi chini miezi miwili rais ilipita ngunia ya viazi ilikuwa pesa mingi imeanza kushuka Green peas. Mimi bibi yangu alinituma nikanunua karatazi moja ile ya nusu kilo. Mia na thelathini. Juzi nimenunua the same 40 shillings. Sababu mungu alitujalia mpaka mvua ikanyesha. Ile mpango raisu natuambia ya county aggregation centers za value addition. Iyo mpango ya industrial parks. Yenye umesema serikali meweka pesa. Hawa wenzetu wanajua huo mpango wetu thabiti ambao tuliuzia wa Kenya wakaununua na wakatupigia kura utaweza kuwa na mazao hivi karibuni. Na ndiyo wameona sababu tuliwashinda kwa akili ya mpango wa kazi. Tuliwashinda kwa kura. Sasa wameona ile kitu rahisi wanaweza fanya ni kujifanya ni maandamano lakini ni mapinduzi ya serikali wanapanga na mimi nataka niseme ukweli vile ulivyo niseme nisiseme juge juge mimi nataka niwaambie mnakumbuka 1982 August tarehe moja ndiyo Raila Odinga na wengine walijaribu kupindua serikali anyayo Hiyo mipango ndiyo Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kenyata wamepanga safari hii. Watumie maandamano ati kwa anniversary ya August Mosi watapindua serikali ya, ya William Ruto. Tunawatangazia kutoka kinamba hii serikali sio ya William Ruto, hii serikali ni yetu sisi wa Kenya. Na tutailinda. Rais nataka ni kuambie usitishwe Usitishwe na Raila. Usitishwe na Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa commander in chief of the defense forces of Kenya when we fell him in the elections of 2022. Na tukamuangusha kwa kura. Kwa kutumia maarifa na akili. Wakikunyu wa pombe na kuvuta bangi kwa maofisi ya zerikali. Ukweli si ukweli. Situluangoa kama wako alevi. 
kama tulikungoa ukiwa state house ufikiria safari hii ati utatumia muungiki kupindua serikali uhuru kenyata please lala tena uote msafari ingine aote asiote aote asiote muko tayari uhuru kenyata na raila watu wawili watuzumbue ati familia mbili waje hapa kinamba wachome biashara za watu wafanye vijana watu wa uwawe na mafamilia zao biashara zao zinaendelea mtakubali na mimi nataka kuambia na wewe rais kama wanataka kuchoma biashara ya mtu uhuru kenyata na familia yenu muko na biashara zenu enda ukachome zenu wewe raila odinga uko na biashara yako ya mitungi ya gas enda ukachome hiyo wachana na biashara ya wananchi wa kawaida mahasla wafanye kazi yao na nyinyi mfanye siasa yenu mkuwe tayari kupambana na huyu mungwana ikifika 2027 na mimi naona wakimalizana na William Ruto tutakuwa hapo tutakuwa hapo na hawata tuweza wanaweza kutuweza kweli nyinyi muko tayari tulinde hii serikali your excellency for avoidance of doubt i want to tell you the people of kenya elected you and elected the kenya kwanza government in august of last year and this government belongs to the people of kenya those that you defeated in last year's elections must honor and value our democracy and you cannot use protests demonstrations picketing that are enshrined in our constitution to topple or stage a coup in the republic of kenya we shall not allow you the people of kenya are ready to defend their democracy and to defend our country and our government against those who want to use anarchy to stage a coup in this country we hear they have planned on the anniversary of the 1982 coup to use the demonstrations that they are now telling us they will stage for three days in a week to prepare for the mother of all coups. I want to tell our former president, we respected you as the president when you were commander in chief. Nobody dared in your 10 years in office to stage a coup against the will of the people of Kenya who elected you. Respect the people of Kenya if you do not respect William Ruto. This government does not belong to William Ruto. It belongs to the people of Kenya. And we will stop you, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. The people of Kenya shall stop you by all means possible. We shall stop you to defend our country, defend our democracy, and defend the lives and property of our people. Kana tiku wadwa ito. Nibu wako ite kama wakama tovo kama geni ya ito. Ati hatuwezi amka kuenda kazi. Sababu uhuru. Hamepanga mungiki. Hakamuaka kitengela. Hakamuaka mlolongo. Wachome mali ya watu. Wapore manyumba. Ili atishe. Ati wili amruto. Hawakawie zerikali. Mayaka yeno na mekate ya. Eno mati ike huti ya. Nibu wako ite kama huti ya. Ati wili amruto. Hawakawie zerikali. Waendele kupora. Na tunajua, and I say this without any fear of contradiction, there is now evidence, the money looted under the Uhuru Kenyatta handshake regime is the money being used to mobilize the young people to destroy this country. And I want to ask the international community, especially ICC, Uhuru Kenyatta got away with murder and crimes against humanity on the back of the people of Mount Kenya region. Uhuru Kenyatta, I want to tell you today, you shall no longer ride on our backs on the blood of innocent Kenyans to undermine a legitimate government and undermine our democracy. Ukubali tulikushinda kwa uchaguzi. Ukubali tulishinda puppet yako. You cannot continue using the same puppet. Kuleta fujo. Ati ututishe. Nemo wote kato wadaliyo guwe ya. Nemo koko la guwe ya. Ato ito nemo koko kitera porori wa anyu. Mweta yare koko kitera. Mutalinda inchi yetu. Muko tayari. 
Ati mutu anatoka hapa Nyandaro. Amevaa sufuria kwa kichwa. Ati aleta maandamano na ivasha. Mukimuana mtafanya nini? He? Eh? Nemoko mumagaria? Nemoko mumagaria? Asho haka kwa hua aumete na adhaburi ya siyake? Musikubali. Mtu avae sufuria. Ati akuja kuchochea vita na ivasha. Kama anataka kuvaa sufuria. Kuspiga magari ya watu kwa barabara. Asimame kwa gate ya nyumba ya bibi yake. Apike gari yake na ya bibi yake. Kama anataka kuchoma nyumba, achome yake na bibi yake. Sindio? Hata huyo Raila Odinga. Akitaka kuchoma biashara ingine. Aende hapo industrial area, achome yake. Akitaka kupiga magari. Na raizu huyo mtu anatumia magari ya serikali. Iyo magari chukua. Ichukuliwe, isichukuliwe. Ichukuliwe, isichukuliwe. Rais tafadhali chukua hiyo magari. Akitaka gari ipigwe mawe ipigwe yake. Si ndio? Hata zile uhuru Kenyatta amechukua magari yote state house akaenda nayo. Mimi naona hata hizo zichukuliwe jameni. Sio hiyo kana si tiko hiyo. Eh ni modo avoki avoki asia kana mboka na siana siake. Kana tikuwa ndo aitu. Ni mwete kana tokitera thirikali eno. Ni moko megitera. Ni moko giri ando kuthokia ito sito. Ni moko gitera porori wito. Eee, gotire wa akere oto hile, kanati guwa. Na gotire mwana, gotire, tuwe na siya name koko. Jesi yako kome na siya name koko. Ate mwana hero imo dosi ya kumana hasi, oke hiki ya para haa. Mwotu hakija kufunga barabara, afunge drive ya kuingia kwa ke. Lakini siyo hii. Sindio? Na uhuru kenya hata alikuwa hapa. Si alikuwa hapa akianzisha hii barabara. Akajaribu kuachochea kwa misingi ya ukabila. Na tulimuambia Kenya imebadilika. Usikuje hapa kuchochea watu na ivasha. Ati venye utawakawa kwa misingi ya ukabila. Nyinyi muka muonea 18. Yeye na mutu yake ya mkono ya handshake. Muka wapeleka nyumbani. Wakae nyumbani ama wakawiwe serikali. Wakawiwe. Wangapi wanasema wakae nyumbani. Azandeni mungu wa bariki. Aya, wacha hii barabara inaenda mpaka Kithioro. Simunajua hivyo? Na Kithioro ni huko Kinangofu. Mbunge wa Kinangofu yuko hapa hapa wana kwenya. Santi sana Rais. Watu wa Kithioro hamjambo. Gaithia yugo mwadha ni agosho. Asanti Rais wetu, Your Excellency William Samoe Ruto. Napenda kuchukua na fasi hii. Kwanza nilete shukra ni tele. Kwa sababu ya barabara hii. Abayo imefungua uchukuzi kati ya Kinangop na hapa na Ivasha na kuendelea mpaka Muranga kupitia Jabini. Hapa 80% Your Excellency ya watu ambao naona hapa. Wengi wao wametoka kwetu Kinangop kwa sababu kuna baridi. Wanakuja kutulia hapa kwa sababu kuna joto. Wanafanyia biashara hapa. Naweza waita hata kwa majina wengi wao. Na shukuru mungu kwa sababu rais. Mungu kwa neema yake alikupatia nafasi kuongoza taifa hili la Kenya and you are a people person. We are missing such a president abaya takuja kuona miradi abayo inaendelea, abayo inafanyo na serikali yake. Kwanza pokea shukurani zetu, sisi wana wanyandaro na wana wa, wana naivasha, pokea shukurani zile. Jabo la pili, mambo mengi sana ya mesemu hapa kuhusu uraisi wako na uongozi wako. Ina, inahitajika ijulikane ya kwamba you are here by the grace of God na mungu mwenye ya liyamu utakuwa rais miake, kwa kipindi cha miaka kumi ijayo na itakuwa hivyo na hakuta badilika jabo la pili wale watu wabao wanania ingine ya kujaribu kutupitia jia madamano ili waone ya kwamba wameangusha serikali yako tunataka kuambia tukua hapa kinamba Ya kwamba hiyo ni wishful thinking Na haitafanyika na haitafanyika Sisi wana wakinangop kwa sababu tunauza maziwa yetu hapa chini Na kuingine Meaka iliopita miaka kumi, your excellency Tuliteseka na huyo abaya natoa pesa yake sasa kufund madamano Maziwa tulikuwa tunauza shiriki kumi na tisa Tangu uigie uongozi, uongozini Kule kwetu kinangop, watu wanatafuta ngombe kwa sababu maziwe mepata bei. 
We are selling milk at 50 shillings, 45 shillings, something that, not, that not, had not happened before. Ukweli si kweli jameni. That being the case, Your Excellency, who you are buying a fund, Madamano, because we are calling him by his name. Uhuru Kenyatta kubali ya kwamba, Rais ni William Samoei, na itakuwa hivyo. Huyu Raila Odinga, amejaribu sana kushikilia, lakini unajua pia, Raila ni Conman. Yeye ni mtu wabaye, anafanya biashara na siyasa. Sasa pesa kuna mahali natoka, amekua mahapu. Wakati yo mfereji ita, ita, itazimwa, mina jua tu watatulia Rais usue na shida. Lakini uhuru Kenyatta tunakuambia, unao tesa siku ya leo. Ni wana wa masikini na ujue mungu halali Utatesa hawa wa masikini ya unafikia unawatesa Lakini ujue pia wewe You are not immortal Na lazima tuseme ukweli Kwa sababu tulinyamazisho wa sana It is our time now to be, to be truthful Na tuambia haba wanatesa hata ifaili la Kenya ukweli La mwisho your excellency Hawa haba wanavaa suru uh, su, ni, 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 <laughs> Sufuria kwa kichwa <laughs> Sisi tunawakana. Unajua ni watu wamezoea tabia mbaya your excellency. Hawafanyi kazi, wamezoea kuvaa vitu zingine kwa kichwa, ni vile tu wamebadilisha kidogo. Sasa wanavaa uh, sufuria. Your excellency, hawa watu wanasemekana ni wanyandarwa. Lakini sisi watu wanyandarwa, watu halisi. Tuko mashambani, tunakaribia kuvuna na tunaendelea kuvuna. Kwa hivyo tusiharibiwe jina na wachache ambao wamepoteza networks. Ni kweli jameni? Idhwe ya duanya darwa, tuwe mgoda nekule maturale, ilo hithi toshira hage ikuruka. Tunacho kihitaji ni barabara, ni maji, ni maedeleo katika sehemu hii yetu. Kwa hivyo, your excellency, rest assured of our unequivocal support kwa yale yote ya bau nataka kutekeleza katika eneo hili letu. Na nikimalizia kwa sababu naona watu wa kina ngupu wa meja hapa, your excellency. Hii barabara mahali mefika pale kwa kona kwa kememia, Kuna barabara inaenda munyaka. And it is only 10 kilometers, your excellency. Diushikane na ili ya kutoka jabini, kuenda, kuenda injinia. Tunaomba mahali utapata pesa, hapo mbele, your excellency. Ukubuka yao ka stretch ni kadogo, ka ingie yu lami na tashukuru. Sana mavipu jameni. Si mungu wabariki sana, asante sana, your excellency. Aya, nitapanga hiyo obwana kwenya na pia ile ya maela. Ile ya maela mama jena lisema. Tulikubaliana. Na tulienda baka maela kweli. Na tulikubaliana hiyo barabara. Tutakamilisha hizi, tumeanzisha, alapu tutaenda hiyo ya mahela. Sinamna hiyo? Haya, niko hapa na mungwana, anaitua Kanini. Kanini Kega. Sinamna jua ye, ndio Secretary General wa chama yetu hile ya zamani. Gaide mwega, na hede jiyo de. Aduwa kena hapa gaidi ya hiyo guo. Uwa ni uwa muma gira. He, your excellency. Unajua mimi siku upati ya kura mimi. Wacha diseme ukweli. Akiaka imanga ini ya dhuri remo dhuri yoyo. Nieda hatu walile tia mbote yo gena kore ya kia bata kere mama. Gagora ginya kira hatu. Noku haruro kwa kore hatu wa haruro kire kuma. Igoro ginyo nani ike kwa. Niseme yu excellency. Mimi siku kupati ya kura. Nani vizuri watu kusema ukweli. Mimi nilikuwa na sikuma yule mzee wa kitedawili. Ata nikanunua kiatu kupadisha mzee kwa mulima. Mayanga ilikuwa gumu. Tukaanguka na asia kubali kushido asio. She done. And I want to tell the former uh, uh, Prime Minister. Asie kubali kushidwa siyo mshidani. Mimi nilishidwa kule kieni. Na nilishidwa kwa sababu ya yeye. Wakiwa na mwejimua uhuru mwigai kenyata. My friend. Wao diyo alifanya nishidwa kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nimefanya kazi. Lakini nikakubali kwa mba nime shindwa. Wakati nilikubali nime shindwa. Mungu nae akatumana. Akanipatia kiti ya East Africa member of East Africa Legislative Assembly. Sasa mimi nikisimama hapa ni mbuge wa nchi saba kwa sababu nilikubali kushindwa. We also want to challenge and tell him. Kama age kubali kushindwa in the year 1997. Kama age kubali kushindwa in 2007. Kama age kubali kushindwa in 2013. Kama age kubali kushindwa in 2017 labda mambo ingekuwa mengine. But since he does not accept to be, to accept defeat, atakuwa kila wakati, kila wakati, atakuwa na lament, oh, kulienda hivi, kura zilienda hivi, alishindo akiwa na deep state. Your Excellency tulikuwa na deep state. On the 9th, sisi tulikuwa kwa deep state. Tale, on the 9th, mwezi wa nane. The following day, tulijikuta, tulijikuta kwa deep freezer. Tukihagaika huko unabaridi. 
kama tu ulitushinda tukiwa na deep state zaidi ya utashindwa ukiwa na deep state kweli kweli ziri ya zere dirikali ino ni anyu atwa ito mumenye dirikali ino ni anyu na bururi wa hetana oku hetanira ke ithuothe ni mugwetekira kuthitira muthuri uyu ni age korodia muhete kura ri ni kanini ni dia muhete kura na atwa ito ajubiri kinya kwenya haha na ri yaki no muthi one twaro ga matuka uga ati president wa Kenya eta go Dr William Samoy Ruto toka munyiterera ri inyu mu muhete kura ni nyomo ku murekia na ndeke ite muire ko iragura rone ko ibero andu aya ni ithero mari na rio marenda oro muthenya makore mare madamano madamano na nido cia irathukio nido cia irathukio Nairobi ndiraje manire na mubuge omwe wa kuma na kuria nyanza kuria buge arajira kanini tuguthukia guku Nairobi tondu ndiramenya indo cia nyune nyu tureka atia turatho ni mugwetikira indo cia nyu ithukio the former prime minister uh, the former president my friend and his friend also remember when nobody wanted you even in mount kenya in 2002 this gentleman stood with you his excellency william samoy luto alisimama na uhuru kenyata in 2002 when most of us did not believe in him in 2013 when things were very difficult for him this gentleman akasimama na yeye in 2017 wakati mambo tena ilikuwa baya sana this gentleman stood with him na kwanza tukarudia uchaguzi mara bili hakuna kitu mzuri unaweza kuona kwa this gentleman so that you can also give him peace to run the country i want to assure you your excellency sisi kama jubilee sisi kama jubilee tunakuunga mkono we don't support madamano and i have said as a secretary general any leader wa jubilee ambaye ataonekana akiwa ame, either amevaa sufuria ama ameelekea kwa maandamano barua hapo mara moja kwa sababu sisi tunataka serikali ifanye kazi ili ninyi mpate ajira na mpate pesa kwa mfuko nikimalizia nemoko wetekera konyiterera mudhuri oyo nemoko mwetekera komonyiterera vio ile tinyu mwa muhaira kula nyonia inaguo kwa guo yo excellence maneno iko sawa sawa thank you so much thank you bwana sg Tuko pia hapa na mbunge mmoja anaitwa Kainan. Ni mbunge wa kutoka Wajia. Eh, awasalimie. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais. Amjambo watu anaivasha. Mimi yango itakuwa fupi sana. Kwanza katika Kenya, lugha ambayo tunazungumza sana ni lugha ya Kiingereza, si ndio? Ile inafata ni nani gani? Na ya tatu? Sasa jameni, mlipigia kura nani? Mulipigia kura nani? Mulipigia kura nani? Siwi ni matunda yenu. Sasa niko na swali lingine. Nani mkubwa binadamu na Mungu? Mungu ameamua na akasema rais wa tano ya nchi yetu atakuwa nani? Sasa jameni tunaweza kupingana na Mungu. Sasa niambie ile maandamano inafanyika. Mimi na kanine kega ni wa chama cha Jubilee. Lakini ni swali moja. Mheshimiwa Rais, moja nitasema kwako na moja wananchi wa Kenya. Najua nchi yetu pale tulitoka tangu 1960. Kila serikali, serikali ya Mheshimiwa Remo Kinyata, serikali ya Mzee Remo Moi, serikali ya Remo Mzee Kibaki, serikali ya Rafiki yangu Uhuru Kinyata na serikali yako sasa. Kila serikali iliwekwa uoga. Nataka nikwambie ni kuombe ili nchi yetu ipate maendeleo na twende mbele ili tusiwe ni nchi ya kuomba pesa ya kufanya maendeleo ile ratiba ya kiuchumi ambayo muweka saa hizi juzi katika bunge siku ya Jumatatu nilikutana na rafiki yangu ambaye ni mtu ya maandamano nikamuuliza rafiki kuja ki maandamano kwa nini mnafuatilia akaniambia Tukikubalia huyu rais afanye atimize ile mambo anafanya in two years hata chakula itakuwa free in two years tutafata ile ma, ile barabara ya, ya ya Malaysia Indonesia zile nchi ambayo imeendelea kwa hivyo hiyo ni njia kukuweka uoga usikubali uko kwa the right track endelea kudhibitisha na kufanya kazi ile mpango ambayo umefanya hiyo ni kwako kwa sababu ile mambo wanafanya saa hizi mzee Kinyata alikaa na uoga hakufanya vile ingetakana kwa sababu 1968 sisi tulipatia maende, eh, eh, loan South Korea South Korea leo iko wapi 1968 Lee Kuan ya Singapore 
Wakati aliwa alikara ta kuwasha Malaysia, alikuwa naomba, alikuwa na wasuasi ya kulipa mishara. Leo usinga poiko hapi? Sinile nji kubwa kabisa. Imefanywa na washuja ambaye wamefanya decision. I want to ask you, usirudu yuma, you have made that decision, you have the support of the Kenyan people, God is watching, na mungu wako na wewe, that is for you. Nyinyi pia. Hii ni sinu mamtuna yenu, simu mefanya investment. Sasa jemeni. Inaweza kana mtu aowe leo kwanza atafute msichana aowe leo azai leo atembee leo inaweza kana I want to ask you to be patient with your government kwa sababu najua ultimately na hiyo kitu ndio kitu ile inawazumbua ultimately matunda ile maendeleo itafanywa after some few months after a year ni kitu ambayo itawafurahisha wa Kenya ya misho juzi sisi tulibua mbuzi mheshimiwa rais kuna gari ya biashara ambayo ile mbuzi kutoka kwangu Ilishukishu hapa kwa barabara. Na tunajua ule muta ilishukua mbuzi yenu. Sijameni, si ninji ya kila muta afanya peashara vila nataka. Na wacha niambia siri moja. Hapo zamani za kele, si minajua sisi tunajirani. Jirani yetu ni nani? Si ni Somalia? Si minajua ile shida wako nae? Watu walicheza. Tusicheze, tukona amani, tukai kwa amani. Yamisho mshua raisi. Wakati mandamando ilianza, ilianza kwa inji tatu. And this is for you and those who are also in government. Ilianza South Africa, ilianza Tunisia, na ilianza? Eh? No, Senegal. Jee, imeishuma raisi. Kwa nini mandamando imeisha? Na ili kodonitua siku moja. Iliisha kwa hizo inji. Kwa nini inendelea katika Kenya? Kwa nini inendelea katika Kenya? Iyo pia nikita mbae lazima sisi tujulishe. Sisi tutakuunga mkono. Ukiona mtu moja ambaye anabeba sufria kwa kichu hakisema yaeni mwanajama ya jubili. Unajua binadamu kwa wengi sana. Sindio? Iko aina tafauti. Mjue hiyo siyo yetu. Mjue hiyo siyo yetu atuwakilishi. Kabisa ni peke yake. Sisi 34 members of parliament. Na wale wengine yote. We are behind your government. We know you are standing for the rights of Kenyans. We know what you are doing right now. And we happy and we feel that in few years time. The fruits of what you are doing right now is going to benefit the people of Kenya. And I want to ask you, kwa kumalizia, tafadhalini, musikule wongo ile kitu naendeshwa ni wongo. Iyo wongo haitafanya kazi. Ile wongo inazungushwa, inamanisha ya kuweka njini ya wazama, ili mpotese fahama, ili wa Kenya wapigane, iyo hatutake. Tunataka tukai kwa amani, tulime, tupate chakula iwe raisi, na injietu ipane madana. Wengabu wanataka tuendele mbele. Wengari tunataka kutuendele mbele Asanteeni sana, unga wa saidi Niko na wangwana deputy governors wa wili hapa Niko na deputy governor wa nakuru One minute deputy governor wa nyandarwa Yuko area Aya, wana represent governors wao Mwishimi wa rais Viongozi wote ambao Mekucha kuandamana na wewe Na wakaachi wa semu hii hamchambo Hamchambo tena Yangu ni kukukaribisha Mwishimi wa kwa sababu kwa niaba ya governor wetu Susan Gihika akituma nilete wewe salamu na watu wa sehemu hii na wa, wageni ambao wamekucha sehemu hii na mheshimiwa nilikuwa nataka tu niseme wakati nilipokuwa kichana mdogo nilikuwa nasikia si kuwa na, anaelewa Kiswahili sana lakini nilikuwa nasikia tu Raila amesema ameipiwa kura na Nikiwa kichana mdogo sana Na nikafikiri ni china la mutu Raila hameibiwa kura Nilifikiri ni china la mutu Na Tangu wakati huo Bada ya kujua Kumbe Yo nikiswahili Sasa nikachiuliza Tangu nilipo saliwa Mbaka wakati huu Anasema kura hameibiwa Yeye ni msuri kweli Yeye msuri kweli Siyata ye angetafuta mbinu ya kufanya hivyo. Sasa, kama mutu anawekwa kuwa raisi ya Kenya, mwenye anaipiwa kila wakati, hiyo ni hiyo siyo mutu. Siyata vitu vietu itaipiwa. Na waja ni kueleze tena. Mwenye alisaliwa wakati alipokuwa, akitaka kuwa raisi wa inji hii, wakati huo, sai hii ni president. Pikia makofi. Pongezi rais. Kwa sababu, nilifikiri china lake ni Raila ameibiwa kura. Na sina mengi, unakaribishwa rais. Asante ni sana. Asante sana.
Deputy Governor wetu wa Nyandarua. Asante sana Rais wa Kenya. Siku ya leo tuna furaha kubwa sana sababu umekuja hapa tena. We umekuwa rafiki ya Nyandarua. Mara mingi umekuwa Nyandarua, umezidua miradi kule na leo hii umekuja kuizidua kirasmi barabara hii. Tumekuwa sana hii ni doto kwa watu wa Nyandarua. Imekuwa ya ukweli. Manake C67 tumekuwa tukiota serikali zote hii barabara ijengwe na leo hii ni kwamba umeizidua ni inatumika ina kabisa. Sasa hii barabara ikifika kule Njabini inaenda mpaka kule Muranga na itaifungua rais uchumi wa Nyandarua kabisa. Manake watu haa kama vile kiongozi na MP amesema wengi wao ni watu wa Nyandarua tumeshirikiana ni watu tunapendana. Chakula kingi kinatoka Nyandarua kinakuja hapa. Ikiwe ni mboga, viazi na kadhalika. Na ninakushukuru rais mambo hii ya industrial park umeleta pale Nyandarua. Na sisi tumefaulu kuwa kwamba tutapata moja pale. Ndio hiyo itakuwa suruhisho ya bei ya ya, 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 ya bidhaa zote kule Nyandarua. Iwe ni viazi, iwe ni mboga, manake rais Tukikumba pale tukiwa watoto. Kulikuwa na kampuni moja ilikuwa na Panafrican Foods hapa na, na Naivasha. Lakini basi wakati likwisha, chakula zetu hazikuwa na kwa, kwa bahali ya kupereka. Kwa hivyo ni asante sana. Lakini ni muisho tu ni seme. Kwa wale watu wa, wa opposition. Ni nakuomba rahisi manake. Tulikupatia uraisi wa, wa sadikari hii. Usikubari tena kukue na umuagikagi wa damu katika Kenya hii. Na sisi zote tumekataa. Ya mwisho ni kusemba, kama nyinyi muna, muna penda wana Kenya, wana Kenya kabisa, mjue kwamba, kama muna penda wa Kenya, I want to ask you and I want to remember the Red Saitoti. There comes a time, there comes a time that this nation is bigger than all of us, isn't it? Sinina mwanyo dugu zangu, kwa hivyo jaribuni mjabo lingine lakini musugubari watoto wa Kenya, wae wanakufa kiolela kiolela. Laisi tunakupenda na ukae ngumu, asante sana. Haya, MCA wetu wa hapa, MCA sema ndaka moja. Kwa hapi makofi ya hui MCA wetu. Thank you, uh, President. Wanake namba, amjambu. E, mimi kwa zani kumushukuru sana kwa kutupea na hii nafasi na hii serekari ya Kenya kwanza kumuongoza na kumutumukia e, kama viongozi wei. Lakini buwana rais, tunasema ni asanti wa kutufungule ibarabara imetueka pesa mifukoni. mifukoni. Na ya pili, kuna ya barabara umeambiwa na muheshimi wa kwenya, uifikishe pale e, kwa kememia. Tunaomba ifike pale kerema. Dio iweze kufungua nyandarwa na nakuru. Muheshimi wa rais, tunakuomba. Mimi ni mwenyekiti wa agrikacha wa wakirimo hapa nakuru county. Na tunasema ni asanti, ulitupea, bolea, na tumelima viazi mingi huku na vitu hungu. So tungeomba mwana rais tunanyanyaswa sana na hawa brokers. So tungeomba utupea kiwanda moja hapa ya, ya kukaucha viazi ndio hawa brokers ama tuweze yani kuweka eh, ma, mazao yetu iweze kukua na iweze kukua kuweza kukua na pesa. Bwana rais ya mwisho yenye na kuomba. Hii town yote yenye unaiona hii. Na ivasha yote imehamia huku. Umeambiwa Nyandarwa imehamia huku. Lakini hata dispensary hatuna kwa hike namba. So ninge kuomba buwana rais. Kwa mfuko yako, tupe health center hapa, ama hospital ama level 3 hapa, na tutashukuru sana. Thank you buwana rais. Asante sana. Nilikuwa naibasha juzi. Kuna hospital hiko pale, karibu inakamilika, na nimesema nitaweka equipment kwa hiyo hospital yenu hapa naibasha. Na vile umesema wewe mweshimiwa, tafuteni shamba hapa ya hiyo dispensary. Iko? Iko? Aya, nitawatumia shilingi milioni tano ya hiyo kuanzisha. Eee, wewe panga, wapi nani, wewe deputy governor? Masikia? Mutafute pesa kidogo kwa county, milioni tano mimi natoa, muongeze, njyo hawa watu wakue na hospitali mali ya, ku, ya kujipanga. Tunaelewana? Na vile vile, eee, Mtu wa single mother, aya, one minute. <laughs> eh, asanti sana. Mimi kwa majina na hitu wa karaja wa boy wa mariamu mtote ya single mother. Na wea raizi niripatiwa kacheo kegine hapo ka SG wa ma MCAs, eh. Kwa hivyo Kenya, kwa hivyo ni nangangana, nangangana. Ulituambia mambo ni kujipanga. Na sunuwa na jipanga. Kwaza rais, kwaza waza tushukuru kwa sababu uko hapa. Lakini, unajua ni nashaka kwa, kwa jabo moja. 
mtu akifanya maandamano rais aharibu mali alafu na nimeuliza majority leader kemani ishongo hapa kuna pesa ambazo zinapewa political parties sasa watapatiwa 600 million na wameharibu barabara mimi rais mimi naomba jambo moja wakati maandamano inafanywa inaharibu supermarket mnayetumana inachukuliwa audit inapelekwa upande ule wanakatwa pesa zao kama kama wataharibu gari ya mtu wewe rais unauliza gari linachukuliwa sho mtu huyo anaperekewa gari yake unakata kwa political parties mtu akikatwa pesa za political parties atakuwa na akili kwa hivyo hiyo rais mimi naomba tu hiyo fanya hiyo namba tu rais Unajua rais sisi tuko na shida moja hapa na Ivasha na wana, wagona wanajua. Si unaona wote wana smile lakini meno yetu ni ya brown. So wakati tunaambiwa twende pale tukachukuliwe jeshi ama polisi tunakibia tunakuwa namba moja. Tunafanya mambo lakini wakati inafika tunaambiwa fugua mdomo tunafugua. Tukiambiwa angalia meno ni brown unaambiwa enda nyumba. Sasa rais kwa sababu unajua kuwa na meno brown si ugojwa. So rais na no, unajua hapa kuko, kuko na askari wengi lakini sijaona askari anatisha mtu kwa meno ni buduki. <laughs> na watu rais wako na nguvu. Kwa hivyo mimi rais nauliza, hii na ivasha isti yangu hapa. By the way, sina hata polisi ama jeshi moja. Sasa wakati unafanya affirmative action, unipatie jeshi 20 na unipatie polisi 20, alafu kwa wakati watu wanafunza watakuwa na hiyo mwisho rais. Unajua hapa na ivasha kulikuwa na kiwanda inaitwa Panafood. Mheshimiwa jeni anajua pana food. Sasa hiyo pana food hapa watu wote walikuwa wanategemea hiyo. Sasa mimi wakati hiyo ili sabaratika mimi nikaambia gavana yangu na ninamshukuru amenipatia milioni kumi. Na ninaanza pale naivasha pale inaitwa Munyu. Hivyo sasa hiyo kiwada nimengangana tunataka kuja kama hii. Ukiona inafaa kwa sababu mimi nitakuwa tunakausha boga tunapelekea samali. Kabila hao watu wajaza maandamano na wapatia sukuma wiki wananyamaza. Si sasa si sasa rais unipatia kitu kidogo niongeze hiyo iishe na maandamano ifanye nini na mwisho rais usitishwe na huyu mtu unajua hata wakati tulikuwa sasa amekuwa kama nini ya historia ya kwamba once upon a time there was a person alikuwa anafanya maandamano si rais ukomeshe hii narrative kama maandamano wacha kakome kabisa na mimi kwa sababu najua wewe ni mguana na uko na nguvu hii serikali si yako si tupagane na tupage watu na watu wajipange twende biguni na tuishi zarama aya asante sana mheshimiwa najua kuna shule hapa ya Gitwamba si ndio na kwa sababu nimekuja jameni mimi nataka niongeze madarasa kidogo nitatoa shilingi milioni mbili ya kinamba. Nimeambiwa pia kuna shule ya Gituamba. Iko oh iko hapa. Inaitwa Jondia. Eh, Jondia. Ya kinamba. Haya pia hiyo nitawapatia milioni mbili mukamilishe mashule yenu hapo. Alafu msukumane, msukumane. Wewe mtu wa single mother nitakuja nimekusikia basi ndugu zetu watu wa ke, hapa kinamba mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kutusikiza tunaenda tena upande ile ingine kwenda kufungua shule <laughs> naenda kufungua shule na sitaenda sana nitarudi tena asante sana mwadhani ya muradhime thank you very much god bless you eh? sawa sawa we mcs hiyo uh, mambo ya chapa nitawapanga ya shule hizo sawa <laughs>